Prior to this creative arts learning journey, I had minimal experience in the area of creative arts. This project left me feeling a little overwhelmed and questioning my artistic capabilities. However, after 15 hours of hands-on learning in the creative art forms music, dance and visual arts, I now understand the artistic and intrinsic value of creative arts education. This journey has enhanced my confidence and knowledge in this learning area while also linking directly to ATSL Standard 2, Know the Content and How to Teach It, and Standard 6, Engage in Professional Learning. Let's begin. For my first art form, with no past experience in culturally specific dance, I decided to work collaboratively with one of my peers to explore Bollywood dancing. We started by watching various Bollywood dancers on YouTube and analysing qualities of dance such as space, time, dynamics and more specifically the different qualities of movement. Through my learning I was able to learn vital dance concepts relating directly to timing, space, dynamics, action, meaning and structure. Linking with the syllabus this opportunity provided me with a way to analyse, create and perform dance. I learned how to choreograph dance by modifying and moving my body. I often had to adapt and practice certain movements due to my ability. This demonstrated to me the importance of differentiation needed in my future classroom to ensure that students of all abilities are able to actively and meaningfully participate. Overall, I found this experience to be engaging and through focus on a particular culture, I have been able to develop a stronger cultural awareness and appreciation. With very little experience in playing an instrument, I decided to learn how to play the keyboard. I began by looking at key concepts such as beat, rhythm, tempo and pitch. By focusing on these concepts, I felt more confident in learning and playing the keyboard. I then looked at how to read the notes on the keyboard. I found this to be the most challenging skill to learn. Finally, after this learning, I was able to organise the sounds I had learned into the musical composition of My Clever Pup and Old MacDonald Had a Farm. Through this experience, I gained personal knowledge and a stronger appreciation for music. I felt encouraged and inspired by this learning journey. I now aim to set more challenging learning goals and would like to learn how to play some of my favourite songs in the near future.
after gaining an understanding of the visual arts outcomes in the syllabus, I decided to attempt a method of abstract painting known as acrylic flip pour painting. I experimented with different techniques and explored a variety of artistic concepts. By creating this artwork, I was able to investigate the visual arts elements of line, colour and space while learning artistic concepts of perspective, pattern, contrast and abstraction. Before beginning my learning of visual arts, I was quite nervous as I felt I had minimal artistic skills. However, upon reflection, I found this form of painting to be really enjoyable and relaxing. I feel as though this, me this method of abstract painting is focused on self-expression and there are no steps or rules that need to be followed. It is simply up to the artist to portray how they are feeling and letting their creativity take over. By designing my own work through an expressive and creative way, I was able to create an artwork that meant something to me, and I learned how to communicate emotions and feelings through art. This inspired me to encourage my students to have artful expression and explore their unique creative minds in my future classroom. As a pre-service teacher, engagement in three creative art forms has empowered and encouraged me to develop my skills and confidence in teaching creative arts in the primary classroom. By developing my knowledge of music, art and dance concepts and links to the creative art syllabus, I feel confident in developing my professional skills around standard two of the arts or standards, know the content and how to teach it. Through this experience, I have learned many effective teaching strategies that I aim to implement in my classroom in order to engage my students in a quality creative arts learning program. Creative arts can be inspired and appreciative experience where students can learn self-expression, creativity and more about the culture and the world around them. This also links with Arts or Standard 6.2, Engaging Professional Learning. With the knowledge gained throughout this learning journey, I have develop, developed my own understanding on the importance of creative arts in the primary classroom. Through my own creative arts projects, I have developed and strengthened my own pedagogical practices and learnt about how to effectively integrate creative arts into my future classroom.